project that we have going on here is a steel replacement job. We're replacing a 10 inch steel with an 8 inch steel. We're directional boring under the Beaver River. Uh, it's about 82 feet below the river bed. The challenges that we have on this job is we've got two railroad tracks, one on each side of the river. We can't foul the tracks. We've got to have permission to go out on the tracks and make sure that everything's going smoothly and the uh, environmental impact that could happen on the river. So we've got to keep everything contained and controlled. Coordination is one of the biggest parts. You know, you have four operators and four different machines all holding the pipe. You know, it's, it's a dangerous situation. There's a lot of heavy pipe in the air. We're also dealing with a 200 foot elevation change on a compound curve. It's curving down below the river as well as up and to the right, you know, so it can get kind of tricky. The unique thing about this particular drill that we're using here is we're using a gyro head. And what it does is it works off of the true magnetic field of the earth and it finds true north. And we've got two controllers in the cab there that's controlling the direction of that head. The reason why we use that is because we don't want to run a wire line or a boat with a locator across the river to impact the river on that aspect of it. When we start pulling back, we'll bring in one of our specialty guys that deals with steel all the time. His name's Howard Kessler. Uh, we'll bring him out of Ohio. Very knowledgeable in the, in the pullback and the installation aspect of steel lines. I'm just kind of giving a little guidance on which direction uh, to go with. I'm working with Matt, showing him different angles of what his pipe will do. We've talked to the community about road closures, uh, being able to get the community around uh, the project, uh, everybody being aware of what's going on, what the pipe is doing, operators in the machines, where the rollers are supposed to be. The elevation of going into the borehole is pretty crucial here, right here. That's why the pipe is so high. Over on the other side, they have a different drill rig set up, and they basically have their rods attached to a swivel head and hooked up to the pipe, and then they're pulling on it as we're pushing from this side. Progress has been going great. This is about a 45-day project start to finish. With Team Fischl and having 25 plus years now experience in the steel work, customers are comfortable with us because we bring a good plan to the table, we bring a good number to the table, and they know that when we're on the project that it's getting done safely and it's getting done right. We know that there's some projects coming out in the next couple years. They're a little bit more difficult, a little bit more challenging, but that's what we like. We're excited about it.